beautiful blossoms, a lavender latte, some sweetbreads, and a delicious supper. This is a day in the kitchen for me. A typical day in the kitchen starts off pretty early in the morning with breakfast being made before seven o'clock so my husband and my kids and myself can all eat together. So a hearty breakfast and then off to making my sourdough sandwich loaves and I've been working on um, getting this sandwich bread so that I can share it on the blog for you because I use einkorn and unbleached all-purpose organic white flour so einkorn is tricky to work with but I think I'm getting close to a place where I feel like I could share it with you because it is something I love making and baking and I want to be able to share that with you guys so you can enjoy it as well but not quite there yet so anyways getting my bread started and of course cleaning off the beater making sure the mixer so that it has that right elasticity and texture. Then I cover it with my simple cling wrap. You don't have to have the fancy tops to be a baker and um, a sourdough maker. You can just do things simply. Today I decided to do some gummy bears and have my kiddos help me. So I am making these gummy bears. I've shared them before on the YouTube channel here. And it's one I found on Farmhouse on Boone, but it's just a um, organic juice. And I sweetened with maple syrup this time. It does call for honey. And then a gelatin and then really just your gummy bear molds and i'll link all those in my description box for you to get on amazon if you would like to make those you can also make it an immune boosting gummy bear with adding some elderberry syrup i've done that before but for this time i just made it with this juice that i got from aldi and it's fun to have help and while one helps me and watches me make the gummy bears the other one plays with bubbles in the sink Outside it is windy, but the beautiful crab apple blossoms are blooming. On to the next test, and my other little one is going to help me. We are making a chocolate sourdough discard um, banana bread, really, and I share the recipe over on the blog for you. I made this in a different video, and I used it actually as a cake for my five-year-old's birthday, and just so that it's a little bit healthier. And I gotta say, it turned out better the first time than it did this time. It still worked okay. I did it in a loaf this time, but I really think I liked it in the 8x8 eight eight glass pan better than in a 9x5 loaf pan. And you know what? It could have been how I fed my sourdough, the heat of the house. I didn't use discard. I used fed sourdough. Maybe that was part of it too. But you can use either. Either way, it tastes delicious. It's a good sweet bread snack. Quick bread. It uses maple syrup, so a little bit healthier for you. And it's chocolate. Who can go wrong with that? All right. Day in the kitchen also often includes cleaning. And I needed to get some crumbs and paint chips that have chipped off my cupboards vacuumed up. And my kiddos enjoy watching. My little boy will hum to the sound of the vacuum. He loves the vacuum. And so all my kids often just do life with me. They like following me around. They like asking to help. They like just observing what mom does. And I think that's a great way to train your kids is to just bring them along, ask them to help, ask them to um, just watch what you're doing. And even if they're not asked, sometimes they just learn as they go because they're observing what mom does. So of course I dumped the crumbs out of the toaster and our dog Maggie had to come eat those breadcrumbs. Anyways, I'm cleaning this one out because our toaster does stay in this cabinet and we plug it in every morning to make our sourdough toast in there because it's in the cupboard, which I like having it kind of hidden away and tucked out of sight. After the oven was preheated, I am putting the chocolate sourdough banana bread into the oven with a baby on my hip, which tends to be the case sometimes. 
just a quick little break of doing some puzzles and playing with my kids. Not in the kitchen, but our house is small enough, it kind of just feels all like part of the house. We're working on some musical instruments on this puzzle, so I'm just pretending to do some of that with them. And that's something I've learned is take a break from the tasks, go play a little bit, go teach a little bit, go back to your tasks. And that's how I feel like I get more productivity done because I just bring my kids along, like I said, where I'm doing tasks and then go play for a little while. All right, it is time to pop out the gummy bears. They were in the freezer for 30 minutes, actually longer, and the girls wanted to help, which is so fun that they can help figure out how to pop them out of the molds. And there you have it, some delicious gummy bears, homemade, much better than those little store-bought packets. And dishes, always dishes. Yes, we do have a dishwasher, but some of these things can't fit in the dishwasher. And there's something to me about looking out my window, washing the dishes, and just enjoying that time of cleaning up the mess in the kitchen. So the banana bread is done and then I get to cut a slice for my little girl to have a snack. She loves sweet breads and quick breads so it's delicious with some butter on it and just a yummy snack. All right, some afternoon floor cleaning time. I needed to shake this rug out and as you can tell, I have some grippers on the bottom because it is a slippery rug. And I needed to redo my double-sided rug tape because it just, it wasn't adhe adhering anymore. So taking some time to get that off, clean the grime that's underneath, move my um, little trim because they're actually not even nailed in. That's a project for another time and another day. But right now I'm just trying to clean up the best I can on the floor and then scrub some of the cabinets down with my all-purpose spray of water vinegar and lemon essential oils and also get the trim and just do a good wipe down because white gets dirty colored cabinets get dirty i've heard the same for either one but i just like to have not grimy cabinets and no it doesn't always happen like this every day this is more of a once a week task where i just get down on my hands and knees and really scrub and get the cabinets and the floors really well my girls like to use these little shelves underneath my counter as um, a play area. So they get scratched up, scuffed up. So a little magic erasering really does the trick. Now, as you can tell, if you've noticed, my cabinets are not perfect. There are paint chips, they are pink on the inside, some were green, um, but you know what? I've made it my space by painting them how I wanted them when we moved in, and also just with cleaning. A lot of cleaning can go a long ways in a home by maintaining it and keeping it to a place you enjoy. All right, I'm excited to share this recipe with you. It is a simple lavender honey syrup. It would be great in cold drinks and hot drinks, and I will be making it in my latte today. I always enjoy going to coffee shops and getting their lavender lattes, and I thought there's gotta be a way for me to make it myself so I can enjoy it at home. And so my five-year-old and I are mixing up a simple syrup and then she is helping me out with making our salmon patties. And she thought we should get some chives from the garden and add that in. So she went and picked them and then we're stirring that in. I've made salmon patties here before. If I remember the recipe, I'll link it for you as well. But it's just a really easy, simple salmon patty recipe. And then one of my final cleaning tasks before the whole kitchen sink clean up in the evening and all of that that you do to get the kitchen reset for the day is wiping my windows down. So after an hour of letting the syrup steep with the lavender in it and stirring it every so often, I am straining it and pushing out all the juices of the lavender to have a beautiful, yummy, delicious syrup to make my latte. 
and I got my shot of espresso because it's time for my afternoon latte. Poured in my syrup and just like two teaspoons is all I needed. Got my froth milk and then I get to put a few little lavender pieces on top because that just adds that beautiful floral taste and then I get to enjoy it while the kids have a snack and while I just enjoy being in the kitchen with my kiddos and enjoying my beautiful lavender honey latte. So my crabapple tree blooms for about a week during the spring season. So I try to enjoy it as much as I can. And on windy days, the blossoms sure blow off, but I'm clipping a few more to refresh the ones that I had in my kitchen because I want to enjoy them beautifully blooming, not fading away in my kitchen. So I put them right next to my kitchen window where I have fresh inside and can see the live tree right outside my window. It is now time for supper prep. The kiddos are playing right outside the kitchen window and right by the deck. I have the deck door open because it's just beautiful spring weather. And I am making some crispy potatoes and my salmon patties. And then we're just gonna be opening some cans of canned goods because I'm trying to use some of those up. So we'll be having pickled beets and canned green beans. And then putting my salmon patties in the skillet. My husband is home from work, so he again is outside with the kids. And I just really enjoy this time where I get to be in the kitchen prepping and just enjoying what I get to do for my family. So after the meal, I'm just enjoying the dishes done in the sink. And then again, a view right after that is the bread out of the oven. It's just been a beautiful day in the kitchen and I'm so glad I got to share it with you. I get to restock the um, dish soap and this is a new one I tried from Amazon and I really like the scent. It's basil but some people may not like it. It's a little bit strong, um, a little unique but I'm enjoying it and it's a natural plant-based dish soap. So anyways, restocking, refreshing the kitchen, doing a little bit of cleaning, and then I am closing up the kitchen for the night. The day is done, the sun is setting, and it's time for me to enjoy time with my husband, with my tea, and the smell of the homemade bread. Mm -hmm. 